Hello, uh, this is Tarek from uh, Funnel Care. I'm going to show you uh, how to set up the signable multi pop up. So, using this code, you can offer multiple pop ups uh, inside your uh, high level pages. So, from here, you can see uh, um, yeah, this is my demo page. Uh, from here, you can see I have a default pop up uh, that is triggering based on exit intent. Uh, I'm just reloading this page. Uh, so we'll be able to see here so from here you can see uh, uh this is the first pop up okay uh wait a bit uh make sure to hide those pop up first i'm just hiding those And two, so okay. So I had three pop ups, uh, but uh, I just uh, hide those other two pop ups, and uh, this is just default. So for me, I can see pop up one. And if I save, so uh, by default, uh, this pop up should uh, open when I try to exit this page. So let's see how this works. Okay, so just uh, reloaded this page, and uh, if I try to exit, so this uh, the default pop up that is set on exit intent. So from here, you can see pop up one. I'm just closing on then I've said those button action to uh, this uh, get instant access button is uh, set to open default pop-up and this one is set to open pop-up 2 and uh, pop-up 3 so from here you can see if I click on pop-up 2 button uh, you can see it's opening the pop-up 2 contents uh, pop-up 2 in different image and uh, different buttons then uh, pop up three same similar way it's uh, opening pop up three content only so uh also this is set to default so it's opening the pop up one uh, by default uh the pop up one one will be visible or um pop up one will be uh oh, pop up one will trigger uh based on if you set it to exit intent so let's see how now uh, we're going to use this code and set up this pop up so first of all uh, open your pop-up uh, from the top navigation uh, menu so from here you can see i have added uh, three pop-ups uh, other two are hidden i'm just uh, opening um, i'm just showing you those other two pop-ups so from here you can see i have uh, three pop-ups i have used a different column for uh, each of those pop-ups so uh, let's say you want to add another pop-up uh make sure to add a new row new column row click on one column you can set it to single column then add element uh, let's say headline then add an image then add a button or whatever uh, you want to add inside this uh, pop-up column for your different pop-up so uh, this way you are going to just add a new column and add your content inside those uh, single column so then we're going to change those column settings and uh, we're going to add a custom class inside this column so let's say this is your default or uh, pop-up one or pop-up two or pop-up three so you will add a custom class of so uh, if you want to set this as a pop-up one so you will add a custom class of fc fc dash multi dash pop-up dash one so this uh, number is important so uh, this is your pop-up id so fc dash multi dash pop-up dash one so this one is your pop-up one then 
if you want to add another pop-up just you can just clone this column duplicate then uh, add change those uh, headline images or videos or button then just change this column settings and add a custom class of as i've duplicated this column so you can see fc multi pop-up one is uh, here again but make sure to change it and uh, mm, rename it to fc dash multi dash pop-up two so this is your pop-up two make sure to hit enter uh, so this way i have added like three three different columns uh for no <coughs> excuse me our uh, different pop-up so from here, here you can see pop up one pop up two then pop up three uh, make sure to add this custom class fc dash multi dash pop up dash one two and three or four or five how many pop up you want i'm just removing those uh we get it those okay so uh custom class is added now click on layers and make sure to hide those uh pop-up uh, but keep the default one uh uh unhidden so i'm just hiding those other pop-up this one and this one just keeping the first one now uh pop-up is ready now we're going to uh, add custom class for buttons. So let's say, and another part is you can you can just uh, keep your default pop up uh, trigger on exit intent. So click on pop up settings, then set this uh, show pop up on exit. So this default pop up will be uh, uh, open uh, if somebody uh, tries to leave your page. Then for this one, uh, add a custom class of so uh, let's say get instant access. This button is going to open uh, pop up one. So click on add buttons, then add a custom class of <coughs> excuse me, open dash pop up dash one. Just type open dash pop up dash one. Uh, so uh, if somebody clicks on this button, it will open pop up one. I've already added this custom class open dash pop up dash one. Then pop up two button will have similar class of open dash pop up dash uh, two. Then for this one, pop up three, open dash pop up dash three. So based on those uh, uh, different button clicks, your uh, different pop up will appear. Then just copy paste this code, enter code inside, copy paste this code and I paste it inside uh, your footer tracking code area. I will be directly here. Then click on save and uh, save this page and that will work fine. Then just uh, reload and test this. Test your page and let me know if you face any issues and uh, I'll be able to fix. Thank you.